Okay, so all I said were simply tied to the version 6. Now, these are just my personal takes as a 3D artist. You can actually disagree with me in the comment sections below and I'll be cool with it. I feel Unity has a lot to offer but simply don't know how to get the top AA game industries to utilize all the features that Unity boasts of. I hope they work on their UI and overhaul the material workflow. Unity boasts a lot of offers but I still feel it's nowhere near Unreal Engine as people claim it is. The interesting thing about Unreal which I think separates it from Unity is that the features that Unreal built into their engines are utilized by the developers effectively. Right? We all saw how Nanite, uh, Realtime GI, and Lumen played out. Better visuals with better performance. And the purpose for these features was that Nanite will eliminate render distances and let developers push millions of triangles into um, a scene without the performance hit while lumen promised dynamic real-time global illumination without the need for pre-baked lighting and these has benefited a lot of developers but we can't say the same for unity unity boost of powerful features you are never going to find it being utilized in any game after the launch of cronet asset the question is, when was the last time anybody saw it or heard it again in real-time GI for Unity? Very powerful, but nobody seemed to care. At this point, it's not bad to copy and paste. If it's mobile game Unity wants to focus on, then good for them. But if they want that AA title from their game engine on consoles and PCs, then I think they need to pump in more money to get people's attention or probably start from somewhere like Blender and 3D Code are doing. We could talk of how Unreal did it, right? Unreal had a huge budget with the aim to become what it is that no other company could ever touch. Unity would need a backup behind it with huge money to just build it up for many years. Unreal did things like absorbing massive companies working in materials, simulations, ray tracing research and they pretty much redesigned what a game engine could be and just have not slowed down. They also knew what their problem was and they worked hard to fix it. Take World of Warcraft as an example. The cinematics back then felt like one watching a movie but when you switched back to gameplay it was all low poly models and pixelated textures fast forward to today and unreal engine 5 is pushing the boundaries although some of those issues persist it's way better as compared to unity unity for me is stuck in the shadows of unreal and need some huge brains behind it to give them that massive turnaround um, they are looking for. Ultimately, even Unreal hasn't delivered on most of its promises yet. It seems even less likely that Unity core, right? If Unreal hasn't, with all that it's pushing through, then I doubt everything that we watched in this um, particular cutscene Unreal would deliver as they promised. And when a product doesn't offer the best technical capabilities in the first place, discussions around ethics and trust become very difficult. You know, trust becomes broken, although that is secondary, shouldn't be looked at or focused on more, but you get to realize that it generates some level of positive response if people are able to deliver on what they promised, right, and meet their technical capabilities. Today, developers are simply going to use the best tools available for their project. And right now, 
from what I've heard or seen and experienced so far, I would say Unreal is the gold standard, even if it's still working through um, some growing pains. Last thing, the real-time cloth phases and deformation is not a new thing, but it looks cool, although it has existed for some time now, since the 90s and 2000s, you have the likes of Hitman 47, which had an impressive real-time cloth phases. The likes of Batman Arkham Asylum in 2009 for for real-time cloth deformation in games, you can go back to Super Mario 64, where Mario's hat was coded to deform based on the player's movement. Although one-dimensional still was an upgrade, right? I hope Unity does better, especially after that controversy they caused with their pricing. Like I said, they reversed it, but guess what? The damage has already been done, and they would need something huge for a comeback. Okay, if you love this video, kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Until my next video, peace out.